Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a quick run through of what I picked up uh, from the charity shops on Saturday. I've got quite a lot of stuff here, to be honest. I spent a lot of money, than, you know, in comparison to what I normally do. Um, and one of the items I've got here could potentially be worth more than £200. Now, I'm not too sure if it is, but that's what it says on the tag. So I guess I'll find out. But if anyone knows what it is when they see it, please let me know in the comments or get in touch with me and fingers crossed it's worth a good amount of money. But yeah, let's get into the video. So first up, we have a Buzz Lightyear action figure. I paid £3.54, as you can see. It's in okay condition, like, you know, a few marks on the helmet up here in the visor. The hands are in working condition, all the buttons work. I won't impress them because they're quite loud. Um, even like the wings retract and stuff properly. So you're looking at about 15, 20 quid. And I mean, everyone had one of these when they were a kid. So I thought I had to pick it up for £3.50. But yeah, something, you know, quite fun to buy. Next up, we have a Kellogg's football cereal bowl. Now, I've already bought one of these and I paid a pound for it. I paid £1.50 for this one. On their own, they're not worth too much, but together you can get bundles for like 15 to 20 quid. So I'd probably put that for £20 sort of range, see what happens. If they don't sell, I'll probably keep these because I had them when I was younger and obviously we got rid of them after, you know, they got chipped or whatever. But yeah, £2.50 for the two bowls collectively into at least 15. So something to be on the lookout for and usually you can pick them up for a quid each. So yeah, it's a good little flip on something like that. Next up, we have a pair of brand new of tags, Dickies Red Hawk action trousers. Now, I bought a pair of these recently for about £8, I think, and they sell for £27. Uh, these ones were £6.49, as you can see from the tag there. Uh, so, yeah, they are Red Hawk super trousers. These are 36 small. The other ones are sold with 38 small, so a bit of a bigger size. But, again, brand new condition, really nice. And I think these are actually a bit uh, different. They have, like, a hammer pocket on this one or a hammer you know, clasp almost instead of a zip pocket but yeah i reckon at least 25 back on those and again it's brand new dicky stuff and this is always stuff to be on the lookout for next up is this lauren ralph Lauren like knitted sort of cardigan jumper thing it's got a nice little badge on the front here this one was eight pounds so it's picking up a little bit um this is the label in the back it's like a green label with white writing now originally it looked a bit fake just because like the text on the label didn't seem right but inside it's got the supplier code so that's how you check it's legitimate. Again, eight pound, 35, 40. I sold like a really heavy cable in a jumper for 35 or 34 pound quite recently. But this one's got this nice like, almost like a shirt underneath. It's like you're wearing a shirt underneath a jumper, but it's only one piece of clothing. So yeah, eight pound, at least 35 back on that. So something to be on the lookout for is that green Lauren Ralph Lauren label there. Next up, completely off season. But I picked up a Christmas jumper. It was only a pound. We had this clearance stuff. All these sort of things were a quid. Now, I know it's nowhere near Christmas, but I'll look at 12 to 15 quid when it comes to December. So if you can find Christmas jumpers for a pound at this time of the year, just grab them, hold on to them, stash them away, and they will sell for over £10 at least, especially when it comes into that first week of Christmas for Christmas jumper day. Next up is this vintage Harley Quinn's like animal tie-dye jumper. It was £3.79, a bit of a weird price. And it's got a T-Rex and a Triceratops on it, if I know my dinosaurs. This sort of stuff does well in America. Uh, this is the tag that is like Harley Quinn's, it's like, a, like a whale on it almost. I'm not too sure on this, to be honest. Some of the t-shirts go for 20 25 some of the jumpers go for 25 30 So £3.70, call it four quid. I reckon I'll get at least £20 for this. It's quite cool. It's that sort of vintage style, you know, tie-dye. The graph is quite cool. The back is plain, nothing on it. But at £3.79, you know, again, I'm going to get at least 20 back on that. But I thought it was just something quite cool that I don't normally pick up. The next item I've got is this Woman's Kin, I think is the brand. It's this label here. It's a brand by John Lewis. Now, this was only £3.79, again, in the same shop. I've seen this brand before. And it's done quite well, like £20, £25 sort of range. There's like a blouse shirt with this like nice like diamond pattern on the front and stuff. So for £3.79 again, I reckon at least 20 quid. But I've heard a lot of researchers pick this brand up before. It's like a little list of, you know, labels to look out for. So I thought I'd give it a stab at £3.79 and just, you know, see what we get from it. Next up is a classic black pair of Vans old school trainers. They were only £5. Now... They're a bit worn, like the box in the back is a little bit damaged and they faded away. The toe box, you know, all good condition. It's just, again, a bit of fading to them, but they're a size 10, lots of tread left on the bottom, as you can see there. 
15, 20 quid. I know that's not great in terms of returns, but the van, so you know they're going to sell. Um, and again, I just thought I'd pick it up because it's a classic thing to sell on. So yeah, five pound, at least 15 back on those. My next pickup was this Desi Gal like shirt blouse sort of thing. I've got a Desi Gal shirt already. It's like a sort of rhino print, snake print. It's a really weird print, but this one designed by someone specific. It's got uh, this little label on the inside here. It's like gold man almost. I'm not sure who that is. It was only six pound. I've got to do some research into this, but I just thought it was really, really cool. And again, it might be an absolute stinker and worth nothing, but it's Desi Gal, they're a good brand. And I thought, you know, I've never really seen much like this out there before. So I thought I'd just, you know, pick it up six pounds, bit steep on an investment if it's not worth anything, but potentially could be worth, you know, 30, 35. So I'll do some research and just see what I can get for it really. And in the same shop as the previous two items, I got this Machino t-shirt. It's nothing too great to it. Just got some stuff in it. I think it's from like Miami or something or America. And it was only three pounds, as you can see from the tag there. Uh, it's Machino Mare, which I think is like the Machino Women's Range. But yeah, three pounds, 15 to 18 back on that. It's a nice, you know, bigger size, but again, it's Machino. So you can't really leave that behind, especially when it's only three quid. Now, this next item is the one that could be worth triple figures so i picked this up for 15 pounds it's a full-on wedding dress i'm pretty sure it's monsoon because it comes with a monsoon cardigan and it's got the tags with it here now the rrp in the wedding dress shop that it came from is 249 pounds and that's their recommended retail price not the actual recommended retail price of the actual item itself but it's really really nice it comes with the trail so it goes at the back as well so it's nice and long so it's definitely a wedding dress it's got this sort of ribbon across the front here and it goes around the back as well it's got these like embellished stones on the front i think there's a couple right here popped out a little bit so i might have to see if i can get those put back in but i paid 15 pound for this monsoon wedding dresses if this is definitely a monsoon and b wedding dress could be upwards of 200 pounds as you can see the rrp on this alone was 249 pounds some wedding dresses fetch 500 pound brand new from the website and this is brand new almost i think so i'll get some photos see if i can do some more research and find out what one it is exactly i'll stick it up for 250 quid because that's what it recommends on this tag and just see what happens if someone offers me 100 pound i'll take that i'll probably try and barter a little bit because obviously it's 15 quid and i've got it up for 250 but at 15 pound i've never seen something like this and again it's really lovely condition the color's really nice as well and it's never been worn so who knows but if someone watching this right now knows the brand this is if it's definitely is monsoon what style what cut the neck is anything like that please let me know because i'm very clueless on this sort of stuff to be honest um if it's women's wear i buy it's just t-shirts or jeans and jumpers so i know what it is never wedding dresses but yeah 15 quid i mean it's definitely safe in something as good as this. Let's run through some eBay and Vinted solds. To start off with on Vinted, I sold this pair of O'Neill three quarter length denim shorts. Uh, these cost me about three pounds, three pound 50. It's got a nice little spell out down here on the inside of the leg. Nice detailing on the end band. Uh, and on the back, there's a nice little badger on the pocket. So yeah, these are three pounds, three pound 50 sort of range. Uh, and they've gone for 15 pounds on Vinted. I was happy to accept another offer. They've been sat around for a long time and three to 15 is still really good. So. Yeah, nice little find there, and that's the first of six sales in the past five days. My second sale on Vinted was this uh, vintage guest handbag. I paid £3 for this because it was on a shelf. I grabbed it, didn't really do much looking into it. However, the top of the bag's a bit broken on the sides. There's some gaps and stuff, but I mean, it's still in really good condition in terms of the age of the handbag itself. And, you know, there's still lots of use left in the handbag. Um, but that's gone for £18, which I thought was still pretty good considering it's as bad as it is and that's on vintage so 15 pound profit on that alone but yeah guess is obviously a really good brand to look out for especially the handbags as it may seem but yeah that's the second vintage sale in the past five days now onto the ebay solds the first one was this muggle mug so i picked it up in a charity shop for two pound it sold for 14 pound it sat around for almost a year i believe um but yeah so 14 pound and it's off to america via the gsp the buyer actually pays 17 pound for shipping they pay more for the shipping than they did the mug, but nothing crazy about it. Just as muggle. I think it's because they don't have the Warner Bros. Studios like tour out there like we do in the UK. 
Um, so it's got like, the thing on the bottom there about it. But yeah, two pound in the 14. Mug seems to be selling quite well for me at the moment. So yeah, always look out for this sort of stuff. My next sale was this Armani jeans, like zip up cardigan jumper sort of thing. There's a little logo down there. It's really, really nice to be honest. It's quite a like slim fitting jumper. It's a men's large, but it's more of like a medium or a muscle fit, as they say. Uh, but I paid six pounds for that. And that has sold for £35 and it's going to one of the British Isles via GSP because it says United Kingdom on the person's account. But they pay something like £33 for shipping, so obviously it's not UK mainland. Um, but yeah, a nice little flip, £6 to £35, so be on the lookout for this sort of stuff as well. And my final sale, which I was a bit surprised about to be honest, was this Slampton FC kit that I listed the other day. Now, as you have seen in my previous video, I picked this up for £7.50 and I only thought it was like a t-shirt and not actually a kit. However, I was wrong and it is a kit and it's actually a vintage score draw kit. So as I showed the last time, this little label here, the newer ones are like green in colour. This is more of cloth material and actually like quite thick because it is actually a vintage kit. So this is a 1986 centenary kit. Um, yes, yeah, £7.50 for this, sold for £40, full asking price. I had no local offers whatsoever, no one even offered 35 I sent a couple offers of 38 out just to see if I got any bites. But yeah, this is going to somewhere quite local to me. So obviously a Saints fan. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy. £7.50 into 40 So if you see this kit around, make sure you grab it because it's worth a good amount of money. So thank you very much for watching, guys. That concludes today's video. But before I go, I wanted to give a shout out to a few people who have been subscribed since I've started and constantly comment on my channel. So to start off with, we have Wilby, who commented on one of my very, very first videos. I'll put his little uh, thing here about what he said. Again, just thank you very much for support. I really appreciate the kind words and thank you. Next up, we have Kaji Koig, I think is how you say the name. I'm sorry if I've butchered that. I'll put his channel here as Instagram here on the screen. Uh, he gave me a shout out on YouTube and some people came from his channel and said, I'm from Kaji Koig and subscribed to my channel and gave me some support. So I'm really appreciative of that, especially to give me a shout out as a little reseller starting out. So thank you very much, Kaji Koig. Next up, we have Craig Rennie, who's commented on a ton of my videos and he's been really supportive on all of them. I'll put some screenshots up here. I do really appreciate all the kind words and all the support and again, passing on my knowledge to you. Next up, we have OMG Toxics. Again, I'll put some uh, screenshots of what they set up here. Again, I can't believe that I've got people who want to know what I do and I'm asking questions. So again, happy to pass on the knowledge, but OMG Toxics, thank you very much. Next up, we have Sal Rich. And he's a very new and recent subscriber and commented on my video and he commented about the Saints kit that I bought recently and sold. Uh, funnily enough, the kit has sold to somebody called Rich, so maybe it's you, but maybe you can let me know. If not, just a weird coincidence. But thank you again, Sal Rich. And last but not least is Jay Brano or Jay Brano Flips. I'll put his Instagram and his YouTube here. He's been a supporter from the start, literally when I first started my Instagram. He's followed me ever since the start of my YouTube. He's followed me commented on my videos, liked all of them, everything, you know, I messaged back and forth on Instagram and stuff with him. He's a really sound guy, got really good insight into reselling, he knows what he's doing. Obviously starting out as well, like just like I am a bit, but I think he's got a bit more knowledge than I do in certain aspects. But yeah, I'll put his stuff here, I'll put some links in the description as well to everyone's channels and Instagrams. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. I really appreciate all the support recently. Uh, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.